about the hypoglycemia. What should be done when a person has hypoglycemia inside the house? If a person is a, has a diabetic emergency where the, the sugars are low, that means sugar, sugars are less than 70, less than 70, a person can collapse. A person suffering from low sugars should be given a good high carbohydrate, something sweet to eat or non non diet drink. Giving them something sugars will raise the will raise the their blood sugars and improve their body functionality. Avoid giving them the diet drink because it doesn't have any sugars in that. And if you, if the person still not recovering, please consult a doctor. The the, the rule of 15 is commonly used. Rule of 15 is commonly used as guideline for treating hypoglycemia. That means after checking the sugar, if the sugar is less than 15 to 70 milligrams, give him 15 uh, 15 grams of carbohydrate and wait for 15 minutes and recheck the sugar after 50, after uh, again 15 minutes and still the sugars are not going up. Again, give 15 15 uh, grams of carbohydrate and and wait and watch for 45 minutes. The sugar levels are good, still dropping down. Consult him doctor immediately and that should be fine. And what is the 15 grams of carbohydrate? That is three to four glucose tablets and either half cup of juice or regular soda, one teaspoon of honey or syrup and one tablespoon of sugar or five small cubes. Today my discussion topic is diabetes and pregnancy. Some people, some uh, people have developed diabetes during the first trimester of the pregnancy and become pregnant. This is called gestational diabetes. Other women have diabetes before the pregnancy, that maybe type one, type two, can also become pregnant if they can, they if they have a proper planning before going to the pregnancy. So if you want to, you need to plan before and you need to get. Uh, talk to your uh, consultant uh, uh, doctor and get plan ahead to see how we can treat uh, diabetes then go for the pregnancy so if she talks about if, if, you, if she takes proper care before getting the pregnancy or after the pregnancy the baby and the mother will be very uh, very healthy this includes uh, what you call diabetes education program to understand the diabetes and how to control in the during the pregnancy keeping blood sugars under control uh, you know, uh, can harm uh, keeping sugars, high blood sugars can harm uh, fetus and may result in congenital anomalies. Addition to proper medication, diet and lifestyle modification is an excess plan. The average sugar should be uh, in, a, in a time during the pregnancy, fasting should not be more than 90 and the post should not be more than 140 and HbA1c should be below, or below 7. That is the proper guidelines for getting the diabetes management. Today I am going to talk about tips to manage medication adherence. Medication adherence means taking your medication as prescribed. The right dose, the right time, in the right way and the frequency. Why is, why is doing these things important? Simply put not your medicine as a prescribed doctor can lead to your disease getting worse. Here are some tips that may help. Try your medication at the same time every day and every minute, every time. Try taking medication with a daily routine like brushing your teeth or getting ready to bed. Before choosing the meal time for your routine, check if your medication should be taken on a full or empty stomach. Keep a medicine, cal medicine calendar with your pill pills and note each time you take a, you take a pill. Use a, use a pill container, sometimes have sections with for multiple doses at different times such as morning, lunch, evening and night. While traveling, be certain to bring enough of your medication plus a few extra in case your return is delayed. Today my topic is nutrition and diabetes. Food has a direct effect on blood glucose. Certain foods raise sugars more than the others. An important part of managing diabetes is knowing what you eat and how much to eat and following eating plan that fits your lifestyle with helping to control the 
The main three nutrients found in food are carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. Carbohydrates are the starch, are the starches, sugar, and fiber in food such as grains, fruits, vegetables, and milk products and sweets. They raise the blood glucose very fast and higher than the other nutrients in the food. For example, for example, proteins and fats. Knowing what food contain, what food contains carbs and the amount of carbs in each meal helps in blood, blood glucose control. Choosing carbs from healthy sources like vegetables, fruits, and whole grains, which is high fiber, must be preferred over the carbs which sources the, from sources which added sugars, fat, and salt. Proteins, proteins are necessary for a balanced diet that can keep you from feeling hungry. They do not directly raise the glucose like carbs. However, to prevent weight gain, proteins make insulin work faster. So it may be good. It, it may it may not be a good idea to treat low sugar, low blood, uh, sugar with protein shakes or milk. Fats. Fats are necessary parts of the balanced diet, especially healthy fats from fatty fish, nuts, and seeds. Today I am going to discuss some few points about diabetes. Is type 2 diabetes hereditary? Yes. The influence of family history is better explained in case of type 2 diabetes, but the lifestyle also affects how diabetes is passed on. In combination of these factors causes insulin resistance where your body uh, doesn't use insulin as it is required. The most This is the most common cause in type 2 diabetes. Genes do play a role, very important role in diabetes, type 2 diabetes. But lifestyle choices are very important. You can, for example, have a genetic mutation that can make you susceptible to type 2 diabetes. But if you take a good care of your body, you may not develop diabetes. Obesity and family still both together is increase the risk of diabetes significantly. For example, two people have the same genetic mutation, one each will have one each watches his sugars, cholesterol, and maintains his values and checks regularly. The second ones uh, eats, overeats, indulges in alcohol, then you know, sedentary lifestyle can is more susceptible to have type 2 diabetes. A person who is overweight is act inactive, much more likely to develop diabetes, type 2 diabetes because certain lifestyle changes greatly influence how well your body uses insulin.